deck of cards. There's 52 cards in there, they're all different. What we're going to do is this. We're going to give them a riffle shuffle, which is classed as kind of the standard way of mixing cards. But you know what? Let's be even sloppy. Let's just mix them around a little bit. And let's take it another step further. I'll have a look at it now. Then. <laughs> yeah, all right, so no worries. Look, um, just give them a very quick shuffle. And then, I'm sure you'd agree, they're all different, yeah? Um, all completely different. So you've got to look at them, get a card in mind. You've got a card in mind, yeah? A card. Think of that card clearly. Now think of a number between 1 and 52. 13. 13. Take the cards. 13 is great, because if you said 51, this takes forever. So I'll count down the cards face down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, slowly. 11, 12, 13. Stop. Slightly missing, but those cards we're going to put. Get rid of them, we don't need them. Okay. So. For the first time, tell me, what was the card you had in mind? Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. And then you picked the number 13. Yeah. You arrived at this card. Yep. I'm going to say nothing more than this. Turn over the card. <laughs> so that was streaming the in. So I need one final volunteer up here on stage to act as an adjudicator for these two people. Okay. Uh, somebody who's not related to them, so I know you, you two people are. Um, can we borrow, perhaps, the gentleman there? Give me a round of applause as he makes his Okay. Uh, sorry, move that. Slide it forward. We're going to find that useful in a few moments' time. You don't know anyone who's on stage, do you? Right. Fantastic. So there's no way you could have set anything up with them or anything like that. Brilliant. In which case, we are going to use this. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to do some very simple tasks. You're going to act as it were as the adjudicator. But the first task is, can you give them a shuffle so there's no way anyone can know what order they're in? By the way, I have a prediction. We'll come to that later on. Just move that back slightly. Just give an area for you to actually see. Yeah. Pretty happy there. Yeah. Now put them back in the same order you started with. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> if you'd like to hand those cards to the lady over there so she can give them just a little bit of a quick shuffle. That way we truly, truly do know that there is no way I could know or you could know what order they're in, and then if you'd like to get them back off that lady, that would be <coughs> fantastic. Now, I want to touch them as little as possible, so I'm going to take the cards, and I'm literally just going to sort of spread them like that so you can't really see the faces, and I'm going to run this joker down the side and just say stop at any time. Okay, you stop there, so I'm going to place it in there. I need you to remember the card that you're about to see. Remember it? Keep that clearly in your mind, okay? You couldn't see that, could you? Good. That's why I put that divider there. You're not supposed to be able to. Remember that card. Brilliant. Now, if you can take those cards, give them another shuffle, one final shuffle. And then, just place them, as I can, just down there. I feel that we've had more of a success with the... The words in the book, that was more difficult. So I'm going to give you a pack. So let's just pull that out first. I'm going to give you that so you're ready with it. And a pen. Okay. Keep that there for a moment. What we're going to ask you to do is you're still in that slightly relaxed state. So I'm going to take this other deck because I don't want to touch those cards that have been shuffled. Otherwise I get accused of cheating. And this is about an experiment, nothing more. And I'd like you to... Just let one card flood your mind, okay? And then whichever card just flooded your mind, write it down, okay? Fantastic. So the situation is this. You're writing down one card. 
Brilliant. Keep that. Fold it in half so that nobody knows what it is. You've got a card in mind. Pick a number between 1 and 52, sir. Say it out loud. 17. 17. Keep that there. Don't let us see it yet. For the first time, in fact, not yet, take the cards. Can you pick them up? And can you deal down, face down, onto that table area? One card face down. Then a second, then a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and so on. Seven, eight, till we get to 17. And stop when you get to number 17. 17, yeah. Okay. What was your card, by the way? We'll put that third for one. Name out loud your card. The Jack of Hearts. I'll come to you in one, sir. You've got a piece of paper there, okay? There is an envelope here. I'm going to take the envelope. I've got a prediction. I made that beforehand. You had a free choice of card, the Jack of Hearts. I placed one card into this envelope. And the card that I hoped would be selected was... I've forgotten myself, but it was indeed the Jack of Hearts. Go, 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 go. That's only phase one. Phase two. Remembering that these cards were shuffled, not by me. I did not touch the cards, they were shuffled by the three people on stage. You randomly selected a number between 1 and 52, didn't you? There's no way I could. No way. You had a card in mind, you didn't write it down, nothing's been set up. So there is absolutely no way I could have known that would be the Jack of Hearts. It would be even more impossible for anyone else to know. Could you open up your piece of paper and show everyone the card that flooded your mind, the card you felt uh, almost an instinct to write down? Could you open it up? What is it? The Jack of Hearts, give her a round of applause. This is getting really In fact, give that lady a round of applause, thank you very much for getting up. If you're about to be honest, give that lady a round of applause, thank you very much for being a man. So here's the thing a deck of cards were shuffled. I didn't touch them. But somehow, the card that was thought of, not only did I manage to predict, but this lady managed to pick up on. You picked a random number. I'll take the rest of them off you there. Can you pick up the one card we stopped at? Can you pick it up? Fantastic. Hold on to that for the big reveal time. This is the holy grail of mentalism for those people who are magicians, hypnotists. This generally screws up, but if it works, everyone will go majorly mad with applause. Show them the card! It's the Dragon Ball! Oh, God. Oh, yeah, when okay. the... oh, right, all right. <coughs> Just, yeah, I was going to put them there. Make sure I do not touch them. Do a drop to make sure I don't touch them. All right, if you do, can I clap you? I'm allowed Ooh. to touch them once. No, I'll leave back and clap you if you clap too. Okay, <laughs> well, just so you know that I don't oh, right, mess okay. with them. Okay, Chris. I'm going to flip the fingers like that on the count of three. When I do, I want you to name any playing cards in the deck of 52. So, could be the Seven of Clubs, Ace of Dark, basically the 52 cards. So, one, two, three, now. Queen of Arts. Queen of Arts, yeah? Free charge? Diana. Yeah, alright. Free charge, yeah? And there's 52 cards in the deck. There may be slightly more than 52 in there, because I don't know if the draws are in, but we'll go with 52. So any number between 1 and 52 now? 10. 10. Because it goes with the Queen. 10 the Queen that can't get. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Is it? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's 12. Yeah, it comes, on, it comes under a picture card. Alright, fair enough. Chris, do me a favour so I'm not sorry. touching them. Pick up all that, that, that box. Would you open the box, please? Take the cards out carefully, keep them face down. Make sure you've got all the cards. Yep, put them face down on, on, on the table. Brilliant. Because I don't want to be accused of touching cheese. I'd like you, uh, very carefully, from the top of the deck to the side, Take a card off, that'll be card number one and so on. Count down ten cards, that's card number one, two... Sorry, I'm just doing this to feel I'm much... Yeah, make sure they're not stuck together. Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... Got one minute, this is going to be the ten. That's the ten. Put it down, face down here. Don't look at it yet. Two. But... You had a free choice of card and number, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you said ten. I said ten, yeah. And Queen of Arts. Princess Diana, you Queen of Arts. You I thought 
You know how Ace can be number one and number eleven? Not usually yeah. known for a royal list, but well, I didn't know the Queen is Diana. Jack ten. Queen King is well, always ten. News to me, but anyway, I'm not going to talk shit. On the count of three, I want to turn over the card that was at position number ten. Would you be amazed if that was the Queen of Hearts? Of course I would, because well, that's just absolutely... To be honest, I fucking would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it just... You, you asked me even before we got him out of the deck, so yeah, I would be. You're right, exactly, so would I. Um, but let, fuck it, let's try anyway. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, can you turn that over, let's see what we got. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is good! Clean him out! Oh my God! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bastard! That's all right. That's magic! <laughs> Not many people know I'm a royalist to think of even Princess Diana as the Queen of Hearts. I didn't even know. No, okay, cool, okay, let's give this a try. Um, I've just got a deck of cards here, and just get, in fact, just name literally any any number between one and fifty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. We've not set anything up in advance or anything like that, have we? No, we haven't. Being totally honest about that, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, and now I'm going to play a card in the deck. Um, two of hearts. Two of hearts. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have a look through. Um, it's got to be in there somewhere. Um, two of... It was hearts, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah? There it is. Fantastic. Now one thing I didn't tell you is that before this trip began, I did something very special for these cards. I marked each and every one of them, but in a manner that's actually quite, becomes quite clear and obvious to you when you look at it. Because randomly these cards have got numbers on the back. For example, if you stopped on this card, which is the Ten of Diamonds, it would have had number 49 on the back. If at random we took, say, I don't know, just this one, with number 10 on its back, it would have been the Ten of Clubs. Number 25, Queen of Hearts, they're all completely different. The number you randomly chose was? 24. Now here's the weird thing, you had three choice of card, three choice of number, yeah? Nothing set up, you'd agree. Yeah. And yet, weirdly enough, 24 is the exact number Ooh. on the exact card that you randomly chose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, deck of cards. There's 52 cards in there, they're all different. What we're going to do is this. We're going to give them a riffle shuffle, which is classed as kind of the standard way of mixing cards. But you know what? Let's be even sloppy. Let's just mix them around a little bit. And let's take it another step further. I'll have a look at it now. Yeah, all right, sir, no worries. Look, um, just give them a very quick shuffle. And then... I'm sure you'd agree, they're all different, yeah? Um, all completely different. So you've got to look at them, get a card in mind. You've got a card in mind, yeah? A card. Think of that card clearly. Now think of a number between 1 and 52. 13. 13. Take the cards. 13's great, because if you said 51, this takes forever. So I'll count down the cards face down. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, slowly, eleven, twelve, thirteen, stop. S slightly missing, but those cards we're going to book. Get rid of them, we don't need them. Okay. So, for the first time, tell me, what was the card you had in mind? Nine diamonds. Nine of diamonds, and then you picked the number thirteen. Yeah. You arrived at this card. Yeah. I'm going to say nothing more than this, turn over the car. Right, is it that, what, what?